This animation provides an overview of the talent thoracic stent graft with the Captivia delivery system. Please reference the instructions for use for a detailed list of indications, warnings, precautions, and potential adverse events. To prepare a proximal main graft for insertion, hold the delivery system upright and flush the graft cover via the side port. Flush the guide wire lumen via the lure connector. Verify that the tip capture release handle is in its locked position. Inspect the radiopaque markers on the stent graft to locate the connecting bar within the sheath. Turn the delivery system to align the connecting bar with the outer curvature of the target vessel. An unaligned connecting bar may increase the likelihood of endoleaks post implantation. Activate the hydrophilic coating by gently wiping the surface of the graft cover with a sterile, saline-saturated gauze until the graft cover is slippery to the touch. Insert the delivery system over an 035 stiff guide wire and monitor the proper orientation of the connecting bar while advancing the stent graft. Ensure the proximal and distal springs are placed in adequate landing zones, at least 20 millimeters of healthy tissue both proximal and distal to the aneurysm. Before deployment, Confirm the orientation and placement of the proximal end of the stent graft using angiography. The mid marker, figure 8, indicates the position of the connecting bar. To deploy the proximal end of the graft, hold the front grip steady with one hand. Slowly withdraw the graft cover with the other hand by rotating the external slider. The proximal bare spring will continue to be constrained by the tip capture. Withdraw the graft cover of the proximal main stent graft until up to two covered stents are exposed. Use angiography to verify the position of the stent graft. If the stent graft was deployed higher than the targeted landing zone, maintain the position of the slider and pull down on the entire delivery system until the proximal figure eight markers at the top edge of the fabric are at the desired position. Do not advance a partially deployed system as it may lead to aortic perforation. Verify that the proximal end of the stent graft is placed correctly. Hold the delivery system steady and continue to rotate the slider until completely deployed. For more rapid deployment, hold the front grip steady with one hand and with the other hand, pull the trigger and pull the slider handle back. If necessary, the trigger can be re-engaged and rotation of the slider can be used to deploy the graft more slowly. To deploy the tip capture mechanism, hold the front grip steady with one hand. With the other hand, rotate the tip capture release handle counterclockwise to unlock, then pull it back to deploy. Observe the opening of the proximal bare spring under fluoroscopy and confirm that it has been completely deployed. To remove the delivery system, hold the slider stationary, pull the trigger, and bring the front grip toward the slider. Use continual fluoroscopy to visualize the stent graft and confirm that the taper tip has re-engaged with the graft cover of the delivery system. After the front grip has been pulled back to rejoin the slider, push the tip capture release handle forward and remove the delivery system. Use fluoroscopy to ensure that the stent graft does not move during the removal. At times, it may be necessary to use additional devices to completely exclude the aneurysm. Distal main sections do not employ the tip capture mechanism. Consult the instructions for use for detailed instructions on the deployment of additional stent grafts. A minimum of 30 millimeters of overlap is required. In areas of angulation or curvature, an additional overlap of 15 millimeters is recommended. Radiographically verify that the proximal figure eight markers are aligned with distal markers of the mating graft and that the connecting bar is oriented toward the outer curve of the vessel. The Reliance Dent Graft Balloon Catheter may be used to remove wrinkles and folds from the graft material and model the graft to the vessel wall. Consult Reliance instructions for use and advance the Reliant Balloon over the guide wire to the target location. Inflate the Reliant Balloon with contrast solution. Inflate only within the covered portion of the stent graft material. Repeat the inflations and deflations as required within the graft and remove the Reliant Stent Graft Balloon Catheter. Perform angiography to verify apposition and seal.